In other developments, Phase 2 of the Government of St. Lucia Island-wide Network Project, GINet, launched on Tuesday, March 16, 2021, a joint initiative with the Government of Taiwan. The second phase of the project will see the establishment of 27 Wi-Fi hotspot locations within six districts. More in this report. The second phase of the GINet project advances government's goal to bridge the urban-rural-digital divide and provide greater internet connectivity to the marginalized. Speaking at the launch of Phase 2, the Director of the Division of Public Sector Modernization, Marlon Narsis, outlined the many benefits derived from the project. The GINet will create an opportunity in rural communities to access services and share information close to home as in the parks um, and outside government offices, as well as reduce the cost of access to information, improve the quality of life of our citizens, and spur on innovation. The implementation of the GINet can thus be reviewed as a catalyst to implementing a citizen-centric approach to service delivery without establishing a strong foundation for digital transformation. Narsis explained that the GINet project lays a foundation that enables improved government e-service delivery and e-participation through the use of cell phones. With widely available quality internet connections, citizens can readily utilize platforms like DigiGov, which provides over 150 government services online. Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, noted that the project helps the country meet the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and aligns with St. Lucia's medium-term development strategy. The United Nations Disaster Risk Reduction Report published on November 2020 has identified that telecommunication is coming more dispensable, oh, sorry, more indispensable for increased business connectivity, e-commerce, online service, working and studying from home arrangement due to the pandemic. The Permanent Secretary in the Department of Public Service, Peggy Ann Sudat, thanked stakeholders for their continued dedication to the project and extended special thanks to the Government of Taiwan. Please accept our deepest appreciation for the solidarity of the Government of Taiwan through your embassy in St. Lucia. Your continued support to the people and the government of St. Lucia is unmatched. The staff of the Taiwanese Embassy was outstanding through the process. They were always attentive, patient, and helpful in the true spirit of Taiwan. Please extend our most profound gratitude to your staff. Since the commencement of the GINet project in 2015, 70 wireless hotspots have been established across the island. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.